Is that a fish? Oh, I got a fish. Fish on. Come on. Come on. Get in here. Get in here. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Heck yeah. First smallmouth of the day is a, a beautiful fish. Yeah, chill. Chill, chill, chill. There we go. Beautiful on the little swim bait right there. Can't leave without a photo of my first fish of the day. All right, first fish of the day. Whoop. We're gonna start this video off with a catch. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Tyler Goes Fishing. I'm Tyler. Today I'm going fishing. I'm already in a good mood because I just got my first fish of the day. A uh, nice little smallmouth on this swim bait. I used uh, these guys uh, a few weeks ago for other smallmouth fishing. But the point of this video is to try out this new rod and reel combo of mine. It's a, a, a Daiwa Samurai a 6 foot 6. Uh, one half to three fourth ounce uh, lure and line six to 14. I put 10 pound on here for these little small mouth. Uh, I used it like once or twice before to decent success, but this video is gonna be about this rod. And uh, two of these were $20 each. It was buy two, get them for $20 each. Normally I think they're like 30 to $35, but that means they were down to 20. And I couldn't resist because they're actually really good. All the other Daiwas that I have uh, are, are great. My 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 ultralight is a Daiwa shock my big striper combo the reel is a Daiwa bg and so i have nothing but good things to say about the brand so let's see how this rod does it is a beautiful saturday morning around 8 45 a.m i uh decided i wanted to come out and do a little exploring i've kind of been in this area a little bit before did a little ultralight fishing here the other day. But uh, some of these spots look so juicy that I needed to come back and try for some, uh, some smallies. That last guy was over there. Maybe there'll be another one over there. Actually, I got some fray in the line right here. So why don't we just go ahead and replace that before I lose a fish? Fish, fish on, fish on. Yes. Get over here, get over here. There we go. Another solid smallmouth right there. I've been waiting a long time for you. I've probably been, it's probably been an hour since the last fish. I've been doing a lot of walking in this water to finally catch you. I'm starting to lose hope. Yep. Alright, well he's off. My swim bait's getting a little beat up, but that's okay. It got me two fish so far, so... Big success. Seems to be working just fine. Alright, well total fishing time, maybe like an hour and a half. I've been walking through a lot of water, doing a lot of casts. I keep having to clean off the lure because it keeps scraping across the rocks, and the rocks have this algae on it. <laughs> so I'm keeping it just below the surface, the lure. Uh, and it seems to be working. I mean, that, 
that's how like a lot of my smallmouth uh, have come so far in the past few weeks it was just a little swim bait or whatever lure just below the surface it's really shallow here like surprisingly for how big it is this is a huge shallow area so let's get the lure back out there see if we can catch fish number three Fish, 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 fish. Get out of there, get out of there. Well, this is the biggest of the day. That is awesome. There we go. Heck yeah. Right along the current edge, right there. Look at this specimen. Very, very nice. This is awesome. Smile, beautiful. Another one for the swim bait. Uh, it's the third one of the day. The last one was only about five or 10 minutes ago, but uh, let's go ahead and let this one go. Woo! Yeah. yeah, so I threw the lure right in that uh, current right there. Then there's a little calm area right there. Just right along that current edge, that guy was hiding, waiting to pounce on some bait. Well, there goes that lure, I guess. I wonder if it ripped off or if something bit it off. I don't know. Fish, fish on, fish on, fish on. Woo, nice jump. There we go. There we go. Ah. Ow. Hook my finger. There we go. Fourth smallmouth bass of the day. I don't need a photo with you. Just go ahead and plop you back in there. Yeah, wrong way. Hook my finger a little bit. That's all right. A little bit of a calm area right here after these little really shallow rapids. A little calm right here, so I'm throwing it out here hoping there's uh, a couple of guys chilling there waiting for something to be washed down by these this current rod in real doing fantastic so far easily bringing in these fish they're not giant fish but i don't care
fish. Fish on, fish on, fish on. In the current. Boom. There we go. Smallmouth number five of this morning, of this absolutely beautiful, beautiful morning. Ah, heck yeah. Heck yeah. I was actually about to leave, but I was like, no, nah, I'll take a few more casts. Got the little guy right there. This is an absolutely perfect morning. Great temperature. Water as clear as can be. And I am catching fish. Well, that will do it for us today, guys. The uh, new rod and reel, the Daiwa, uh, did an amazing job. It held up great, no problems, really. Got five smallmouth bass today. I could not ask for a better day of fishing, could not ask for better results. Anything more would just be greedy. I've been out for about a total of three hours now. I'm gonna head home and shower because it's gonna get a little hotter than it was this morning. It was 70 when I first came out here, but it's probably gonna be 85 uh, here soon. And uh, I'm out of water, so. Not good. <laughs> all in all, would highly recommend this rod. $20, you can't beat that. You can't beat a good deal. You don't need a lot of money to catch fish. I'll say that a million times. Anyways, thank you so much for watching me. Uh, hit that like and sub button and tell all your friends. <laughs> I will see you all in the next fishing adventure. Peace.